Coming up on NT right now, a local nonprofit works to deliver necessary supplies to babies across Clark County. And we look at why there are so many unfilled job openings in the region. In the market for new appliances, but can't find what you need? Charlie Wilson's appliances, TVs, and mattresses has over $2 million of inventory in stock and ready to go. Your dollar goes farther at Charlie Wilson's in Clarksville. Hello, this is Kristen Stratman for NT Right Now. I hope you had a good weekend and are ready to take on the rest of the week. Let's get started. The city of Charlestown is collecting donations for the diaper project from now until January 17th to celebrate the National Day of Service on Martin Luther King Day. The diaper project was started in 2015 by members of the Community Presbyterian Church of Charlestown. Clark County families in need with children under three years old can pick up baby supplies from the church once a month. Brian Smith, communications director for the city of Charlestown, says programs like SNAP and WIC provide parents in need with food assistance for children, but they don't help pay for other essential supplies that parents need for their kids. Those organizations really provide you know, the nutrients for you know, children and, and babies and infants, whereas sometimes they're left behind when it comes to getting diapers and wipes. So this program is something we really want to push and support, you know, as an option for, you know, not only for monetary donations, donating wipes or, you know, diapers, but also just getting involved and maybe coming and helping out, you know, in the community of, of passing these out to different organizations and different groups. Donna McCreary, director of the Diaper Project, says some parents in the area struggle to afford necessary baby supplies. You know, if you lose a job, uh, if you're in between employment, most people will have a need at some time or another and it costs the average family about a thousand dollars a year just to put diapers on a child. To learn how to volunteer or take part in the program, reach out on the Diaper Project's Facebook page or call McCreary at 812-256-2370. Lots of people start out the year resolving to quit smoking. The CDC says most adult smokers in the U.S. have made at least one attempt to stop smoking, but only one in ten people are successful. To help people stay on the wagon, Baptist Health and the Kentucky Cancer Program are sponsoring a free one-hour class on how to quit smoking. Participants will learn about tobacco and nicotine addiction and how to develop a personal plan to quit. They'll also learn about the seven medications approved by the FDA to assist in quitting smoking. The class will run on January 12th from 4 to 5 p.m. You can register for the event on Baptist Health's website. Indiana's unemployment rate is staying low at 3%. That's almost a full percentage point below the U.S. average. But employers in the region are still desperate to find people to fill job openings. There were around 15,000 job openings posted in the Louisville, Southern Indiana metro area in the last month of 2021. I spoke with Dr. Yurik Dufresne, Sanders Chair in Business at IU Southeast, about the implications of employers being unable to find workers. Employers have had such a difficult time filling positions and continue to have a hard time filling positions. Um, employers have been able to meet demand, right? So we've been able to meet demand. Uh, GDP is higher now than prior to the pandemic, and they've been able to do that by uh, automating production lines, right? Uh, perhaps using more productive production processes that, that, that result in fewer employees uh, needed. In some cases, uh, investing in automation and digital technologies. The top in-demand occupations in the area are registered nurses, retail workers, warehouse laborers, salespeople, and truck drivers. That's all for today. I'm Kristen Stratman for NT Right Now. I hope you have a great rest of your week.